Hindustan Aeronautics has taken up plans to develop and manufacture ejection seats, as the Indian Air Force is looking to procure nearly 470 fighter jets and another 80 trainer aircraft in the next 20 years. The indigenous ejection seats will also avoid any possible embargo on the export of HAL-built fighter jets. Officials have said, talks with two companies are progressing well, one is an Indian private sector company, and another is an international ejection seat manufacturer, with whom a three-way partnership might be signed. India and Italy have agreed for the co-development and co-production of defense equipment in India. Italian firm Leonardo is keen to restart negotiations for the sale of 100 Black Shark new generation heavyweight torpedo that was selected by the Indian Navy to be armed on the six Calvary class submarines in 2016, but the deal was cancelled due to Augusta Westland helicopter scam. Black Shark heavyweight torpedoes have already been incorporated into the submarine tactical integrated combat system suite of the Calvary class submarines, and it won't require upgrades to the system. The Indian Army has issued a request for proposal for the procurement of 100 lightweight logistics drones, that must have an operating range of 10 km, and payload capacity of 15 kg and 100 heavyweight logistics drones, that must have an operating range of 10 km, and payload capacity of 15 kg. The procurement will be done under fast-track procedure and by Indian category, and it must have at least 60% indigenous content. As part of their upgrade package, the Mi-17 V-5 helicopters of the Indian Air Force will soon be getting the Spike NLOS missile, which is a multi-purpose electro-optical missile system that can strike enemy armored columns at a range of 32 kilometers, and media reports indicate that it will also be integrated in the Rudra attack helicopters and Prachan light combat helicopter. The Spike NLOS Seeker and Wireless Data Link provides operators with real-time video imagery and man-in-the-loop control throughout the missile's flight, that provides operators with the opportunity to alter or abort the mission. The Archer NG weaponized medium-altitude long-endurance drone has recently started manufacturing process, and it will also be equipped with an Israeli LM 2022U long-range airborne multi-mode maritime surveillance radar, that has the capability for detection and automatic tracking of small targets in the Indian Ocean region. It will also be used for air-to-air -air surveillance, air-to-ground intelligence, and reconnaissance and surveillance missions. Airbus Defence has successfully completed the first engine run of the first C-295 MW aircraft that is being built for the Indian Air Force. The first aircraft will be delivered to the Indian Air Force in September 2023, and 16 aircraft will be delivered in flyaway condition by August 2025. 40 aircraft will be manufactured at the Tartu Airbus facility in India, out of which the first made in India aircraft will be delivered in September 2026. The Indian Navy has received a fully indigenized YDB-60 fuse for RGB-60 anti-submarine warfare underwater rocket, that has been manufactured by a private sector firm Economic Explosives Limited. This would be the first time that the Indian Navy has placed a supply order for underwater ammunition fuse on an Indian private sector industry, 